what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and today we're going over a big issue how a lot of artists favorite artist is messing up their career and the moves that they should be making what do you mean by this sean when a lot of people look at whoever they think is a measurement of success whatever that artist is whether that's a drake or a jay-z or a kendrick or travis scott whoever they oftentimes look at where they are at the time and the moves that they're making as opposed to looking at what they should be looking at. And that's the moves that they made when they were at the level that you're at right now. Don't look at Views Drake. Don't look at Magna Carta, Holy Grail, Jay-Z, or Jesus Kanye. Remember Drake Replacement Girl? I remember the day that that video debuted on 106 and Park. That was about two years before Drake came out with Best I Ever Had. Maybe you're Replacement Girl Drake right now. Maybe you're Best I Ever Had. Either way it goes, figure out where in their process you are right now and then you can make the right moves and follow their moves. Most people are trying to follow the moves of the people that they aspire to be where they are at the time, but you can't make those moves yet, right? Realize that in business in general, in success in general, Ralph Lauren, the guy over, you know, Ralph Lauren, the fashion brand, polos, all of that stuff. He started off making men's ties. Henry Ford with the car, you know what I'm saying? There was only one model that he came out with. There wasn't a whole bunch of different types of cars like that are right now. Jay-Z was just a rapper at first. Kanye was just a rapper at first. And even then, there was levels to that thing before they got to where you probably even knew him. It's okay to be inspired by the success, but when it's time to act and execute for whatever your best interest is and growth is as an artist, you need to look at the process and then you can make steps accordingly there. Kendrick Lamar, when he was releasing mixtapes and he was releasing quite a bit of music, Section 80, that was a lot of music and then you compare that to now, his releasing and strategies are completely different. It's like if you decided to just drop an album in the middle of the night and not tell anybody like Beyonce and expect it to get Beyonce results. That is actually only cool because Beyonce is where she is right now. If she did that back when she was in the first iteration of Destiny's Child that wasn't even called Destiny's Child, no one would have cared. So as always, I like to keep it simple. It's okay to be inspired by the success, but when it comes to actually making those moves, pay attention to the process. That's what you should be studying and figure out what they were doing when they were where you are at the time. When they had similar resources. Last but not least, this video was inspired by Ulia Kos or maybe it's Yulia Kos. Let me know in the comments below. But also, let me know if you have any questions or comments below because I could make a video about it or I could just answer you directly in the comments. But it'll probably give me inspiration for our video itself. Once again, have a great one. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.